Facing spectacular views of the Danvers River, the perfect first drive is left center of the fairway. The second shot can reach the green, but beware, the classic Donald Ross design challenges a run up to the green. A layup requires a precise second shot about 100 yards from a narrow deep green. A poorly struck approach may result in a difficult two putt. A classic uphill par four requires a well-placed tee shot in left center of the fairway, avoiding the bunker on the left. Second shot is blind, requiring an additional club and a half longer than yardage indicates. Green slopes severely from right to left and back to front. A two putt par is an outstanding score on this difficult hole. A well-struck drive down the middle will catch the slope and run to 120 yards from the green. Second shot plays one club shorter than the yardage indicates. Slope at the front third of the green makes short approach shots very difficult. The severe uphill fourth hole tee shot on this par three requires a club or two more than the scorecard reads. The false front requires a precise iron shot. If the front is not negotiated well, a runoff area will leave a severe uphill pitch shot. Keep the ball below the hole. Hole five, a favorite among members, requires a left to right tee shot. The downhill tee shot should be played left to right 250 yards in the fairway. The Danvers River is on your left, and right is a miss. Second shot is played into a large green that is very receptive, but keep your ball away from the seawall at the back of the green, creating a chance for a birdie. When on the green, take a moment to enjoy the spectacular view. Go with a long iron or fairway wood off the tee. Avoid the water left and bunker right. Second shot will move right to left on the green. Front third of the green is a false front. If you find the bunker left or go over the green, you will face a difficult up and down. The seventh gives an opportunity to let your drive fly off the tee. Be sure to avoid the driving range on the right as it is out of bounds. Place the second shot below the hole on the right side of a very receptive green. The slope will feed the ball left toward the pen. A birdie on this hole is a real opportunity. A sleeper dogleg left that appears innocent but has the teeth of a tiger. Draw an iron off the tee to the 150 yard marker. The green has false front and requires an accurate second shot. Par is a very good score. The hole often plays into a deceptive headwind, making club selection difficult. Any shot that reaches the green can be one putted for a birdie. It is better to be short than long. Do not fly the green or enter the bunkers. A straight tee shot from this elevated tee will leave you with a blind second shot. Favor the right side when carrying the hill in front of you. Keep ball below the pin. Green slopes from front to back. Ups and downs are easier from in front. Over the green is OB. Play it safe off the tee with a left to right shot. The aggressive play off the tee is over the trees on the corner, which will greatly shorten your second shot. Bunker short left and green side right are tough hazards. Green slopes from back left to front right. Kernwood's signature downhill 12th hole. A great par three guarded by a winding creek. Wind and trees that surround the putting surface can make club selection very tough. Greenside bunkers right and left create difficult ups and downs. Avoid the right side fairway bunker off the tee on this three shot par five. 
Second shot should be hit short of or over the mound that lies about 100 yards from the green. Third shot is into a bowl-shaped green that funnels most shots to the center. Don't fly the green. The downhill 14th is a difficult driving hole with out of bounds on the left and trees right. The second shot offers a downhill lie to a turtle back green and is one of the most difficult shots on the course. The incredible green surface creates many three and four memorable putts. The 15th is often considered the most picturesque hole on the course. Place a three wood or hybrid off the tee onto the left side of the fairway. Trees block out any tee shots ending up on the right side. Bunkers guard in front and to the left of the green. Wind is usually in your face, making second shot longer than yardage indicates. Green slopes right to left and often requires a shot to land to the right of the hole. A signature Donald Ross gym. The dogleg left that makes a draw off the tee a must. Avoid the tidal marsh on the left. An uphill second shot that plays into an easterly wind requires at least one club longer than the yardage indicates. Stay below the hole. Green slopes severely from back to front. A par on this hole is an excellent score. An uphill par three with a deep bunker short right. Aim toward the center of the green and hope you have the correct club. The front third of the green is a false front that creates tremendous backspin. Distance control and club selection are at a premium here. The finishing hole requires an accurate tee shot to be in play. An uphill short iron second shot must be long enough or the ball could roll all the way down the hill back towards you. Anything right will guarantee a bogey. The green is built right to left with the surrounding terrain moving left to right. Good birdie opportunity to sink a one putt for a win. After your round, please relax in our grill to take in the panoramic views of the course and spectacular grounds. Get a workout in our exercise facility or enjoy one of the many fitness classes offered through our wellness program. You can always take a dip in our pool or unwind in the whirlpool. Take a quick steam in our spacious full service locker rooms. Attend one of the many spectacular occasions in our main dining room that has made Kernwood the destination of choice for special events. In the evening, join us in the lounge and enjoy your favorite beverage on the front patio to end a perfect day.